the Philippines' deadliest two minutes, when rain stopped but death didn't. What if four days of clear weather was actually a countdown to mass death? February 17, 2006, an entire village of 1,857 people in Guinsogon, Philippines, was buried alive in just 120 seconds, not during a storm, but four days after the rain stopped. Mount Canabag exploded downward at 126 kilometers per hour, moving 15 million cubic meters of debris that obliterated everything in its path. 1,126 people died because they trusted the silence. We've seen this deadly pattern repeatedly. Communities return home when weather clears, not realizing that deep geological processes don't follow meteorological timelines. A mountain had been screaming warnings for months, tilting trees, muddy streams, ground cracks, but nobody understood its language. This wasn't random. Mount Kanabag sat on the Philippine fault zone, weakened by 10,000 years of tectonic movement. The rainwater took days to seep through fractured rock, building pressure until the mountain literally exploded from within. The lesson that changed a nation, mountains don't lie, but they don't speak human language. In our experience studying disasters across Asia, the communities that survive are those who learn to read nature's warning signs, not just trust government alerts or clear skies. Are you listening to what the earth is trying to tell you?